Hello world, after two months off, yeah, it really has been two months since my last video, I'm back with an all new geek movie review, this time for the Lego movie. For those of you who don't know, the Lego movie is based on the construction toy sets, Lego, that you know, I'm sure most of us have had at some point in our lives and played with as children and maybe even played with as adults. The basic premise of the movie is that the Lego universe is real, like these characters, these little ye yellow Lego men and women are, are alive, and that there's, there's this one evil Lego person called Lord Business who's trying to destroy the universe using a super weapon called the Kraggle, and on the other side there, there may be someone who is going to be able to save the universe, a special one, uh, if you will, uh, and he and the number of other People will get together, form a team in an attempt to save the universe. So that's a very basic plot line. What do I think of this movie? It's brilliant. Uh, it's written and directed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Uh, for those of you who don't know, they did uh, Cloudy and a Ch with a Chance of Meatballs, the first one. Um, for those of you who are into really nerdy comedy animated shows. They also wrote and directed Clone High, which is fantastic. You should go and try and get hold of it. It was finished much too soon and brilliant and well ahead of its time. Uh, these guys have some serious chops when it comes to animation and when it comes to comedy. And this, for me, was absolutely fantastic. Um, it's meant to just be an animated comedy, but I'd actually call it an animated action comedy. You will not believe the action sequences that are in this movie, which are done in uh, a way that looks like it's made out of Lego blocks. And it does look like a stop motion movie made with Lego blocks. And it is CGI. Just to give you that straight up, it's CGI, but it's so well done that you will seriously think it's been made with real Lego blocks. And at not one single point throughout the movie, does a character or something that's been built with the Lego move in a way that doesn't happen in reality. It's brilliant. Beautifully animated, beautifully written, absolutely fantastic on that point. Even the cinematography in this is amazing. You get sucked into this world and you know it's fake, but you can't help but have this connection, really strong emotional connection to these these Lego worlds that keep popping up. When we're coming to the right hand side, the jokes, not a single joke, missed the mark. Fantastic. Uh, I would go as far as saying that this is meant to be a children's movie, but this is an adult movie that children will like, even though it's meant to be the other way around, because so many of the jokes, so many of the references are aimed at adults, at people in their late teens upwards, um, but they're done in such a subtle way and with some of the very basic sort of slapstick elements of the humour that um, everyone will enjoy this. People of all ages will enjoy this. It's amazing. The voice cast in this is absolutely stellar. Uh, you've got Chris Pratt, you've got Will Ferrell, you've got Alison Brie, uh, Elizabeth Banks, Liam Neeson, uh, that's the main bulk of the castle, Morgan Freeman. Uh, you've also got people like Kobe Smulders and Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill who have smaller roles. Uh, Will Arnett as Batman and Bruce Wayne at one point. Uh, really, really funny. But it sounds like Will Arnett doing a Kevin Conroy impression. Why they didn't just get Kevin Conroy, um, for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, know my, my love of Batman the Animated Series, know that as far as I'm concerned, Kevin Conroy is the greatest Batman actor of all time. You've got Will Arnett, who's a brilliant comedy actor, who's very, very funny, great timing, and in this is fantastic, but it does feel like he's doing a Kevin Conroy impression for the majority of the time he is in this movie. Um, and that's not to detract from it, because it's a fantastic movie, he's a great actor, but that's just my take on it. There was not a single bad piece of casting. Um, there's some fantastic cameos. Um, I'll say a name of, of an actor, and you can put the, the two and two together, but Billy D. Williams, yeah, Billy D. Williams, has a cameo in this movie and it's amazing and 
it just like I was laughing so hard that I actually started to cry. That's how hard I was. Like, it actually physically, physically hurt. Uh, and there's not many movies that have done that to me. The soundtrack is great. Very well scored. Couple of songs in there that fit really well. Uh, in particular, the Everything is Awesome song by The Lonely Island, which is like the main song for the film. It will get stuck in your head and you will not be able to get it out. And you'll be singing, Everything is awesome! When you're leaving the cinema and like five hours later and when you're trying to have a nice meal afterwards and it just won't go away. It is infectious, but it's fantastic. Speaking about the ending and not to give anything away, no spoilers at all. The ending is very, very meta. It's it, ridiculously so. Um, and it's one of those things that, as I mentioned earlier, that makes it seem more like it is aimed at an adult audience than a children's audience. Although, both children and adults will, will get it, will get the main point, but in different ways. It's so well done. Uh, it also leaves it open for a possible sequel and god damn this film is so good can we have another one please as you probably noticed i haven't found a problem with this movie because th there just wasn't and i did try so hard to find something wrong with it this is up there as far as i'm concerned as a comedy movie with anchorman which is my perfect comedy movie or or clerks mall rats those type of movies it's absolutely five star Go and see it as soon as you can. Uh, in the States and Canada, you've already got this. You're very lucky. Me, I'm in the UK. I got to see a preview showing, but it's released this Friday, Valentine's Day, ready for half term here in the UK. Go and see the Lego movie. You won't regret it. Okay, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Down there is the like button. Click on that and you let me know if you like this. In the description box is a link to my Twitter, my Facebook, my Tumblr, and my Instagram. So you can follow me on the interwebs, find out what's going on with me, with this channel. And from now on, hopefully, more regular videos will be back up from this week. So keep checking back up on the Great One Cozzy channel to see more of me, more reviews, more geeky stuff, more vlogs, and more of what you love. So until next time... Au revoir.